Good evening, Mr. McCorkle, Mr. Van Freedy, Mr. Houston, faculty, families, and classmates. You want to feel like my brothers and sisters. To start off, I'd like to begin with a quote from one of my idols. Rutgers football head coach Greg Chiano once said, I very much am peace with where we started, where we are now, and where we are going. In relation to us, we arrived as the best and brightest in Long County. We have evolved into high achieving, qualified college bound students and continue on the path of success. However, I and many of my siblings will forget where we came from. The communications high school class of 2010 will never be forgotten. The friends we have made, the family we have formed. Together, we are one. 67 friends, one family. Given the events of the past two years, I would only be fitting that our graduation be postponed for the two mile an hour winds outside. <laughs> I would not be here today if it wasn't for my family. I'm not just talking about the small sample of my family out there on the crowd, but the uh, brothers and sisters that I'm sharing the stage with tonight. 67 of us brothers and sisters united as a signature beloved family. As our days became numbered, I began to reflect on our past four years together, where we started and how far we've come. We've come a long way since that first morning in September 2006. However, none of the success would have been attainable without a solid foundation. We've been blessed to have strong leadership since day one, with Mrs. Fallon as a press advisor and Sam Close as a class president. They nailed our president with an outstanding prom, fantastic senior recognition dinner, as well as a number of dances over the years. Following two years, Ali Schaaf led the way, maintaining Sam's high level of excellence at the help of our class. Sam and Ali both moved on the positions with the SGA, which speaks volumes about their character and leadership qualities. And finally this year, we are led by Eric Pondo, an experienced Eagle Scout. In addition, Mr. Sturgeon is over the interim, for Mrs. Fallon, even with a lot of his weight as the guidance counselor. He, Eric, and the class counselor did a fantastic job this year coordinating the senior class events. As we share our final day together, it is safe to say that we have grown close and our bond is evident from our success. We've been close from the very start with a very enthusiastic bunch. Winning a number of spirit weeks, as well as memorable Halloween costumes, and outstanding Mr. CHS acts. I'll never forget Tom's original Halloween costumes, Jamie's version of MTV Cribs, or Bad Bad Stance and Beyonce single ladies. For myself, delivering the most accurate weather around. Good morning, CHS! All the while, I'm All the while, the 67 friends were there to support their classmates registered 100% on most of the days during spirit weeks. Moving into the senior hallway this year, we like to consider that our house. My family and I were able to furnish it with couches, two of them, portable basketball and really loud speakers. These items come with Happy Second Ninja, added to the family ambiance, and we were able to connect with each other in a relaxed environment. Just two short months from now in the fall, I'll be separated from my brothers and sisters as each of us will be beginning a new chapter in our lives at universities as far as Michigan, Tennessee, and even Abu Dhabi. The strong foundation we created at Communication High School will undoubtedly prepare us for the future, not only academically but socially, as well as maintaining the friendships we have created here over the past four years. College requires a certain level of maturity, but I feel that we are getting ready to face many obstacles and challenges from our way. As we embark on our future endeavors, we will most certainly use skills we have acquired at Communications High School. With inspiring film directors, graphic designers, and TV radio personalities sitting here before me, the knowledge they have acquired in their past careers will certainly put them ahead of the curve when it comes to getting a job in the industries. I encourage you all to apply your dreams. Do it up tonight! 